Whether you've wanted to spend the weekend in the familiar embrace of a wet ditch, or spend Saturday evening banging the couch cushions at a friend's house, a friend who you will never see again, or is it whom? Well, you might be faced with the classic dilemma. Should you slum it with the OE-800, or also slum it with the King Cobra? The second, of course, being a premium variety of malt liquor. It's a tough decision. Like, would you rather have your dick chewed off by a trash panda behind an old dumpster, or be filleted by a raccoon while taking out the recycling? Well, that raccoon ain't getting any calmer. So let's find out with a scientific taste test and let's call it a food pairing. But to do that, we need to take a look at the specs of these two sirens of the 7-Eleven, calling out to you on a weeknight while we pour. First, there's the King Cobra, the gentleman's choice, except of course in the full nude clubs, but that's what the parking lot's for. At 6% alcohol by volume, it'll give you a few extra sips before the gut rot sets in when compared to other leading brands. Not quite as dark as the King Cobra, which means no infection yet. Just a long day of working in the sun without pissing. But if you want the absolute hardest kick in the nuts you can handle, the Old English is an easy choice. The OE pours a nice golden color, reminiscent of the start of your last UTI. Kind of dehydrated with a kiss of golden sunshine. Pour generously, of course. 42 ounces and an easy guzzling 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's made from a precise ratio of English leather cologne and whatever that clear fluid is found on the floor of the drunk tank. And since the bottle is plastic, it can't be used as an effective weapon against you if you won't stop running your goddamn mouth. It now comes with an easy to use cold wind blue technology. When the circle turns white, it's ready to drink. The smell, hope you brought some extra underwear. First, the Old English. Now mind you, this is for the 7.5% version, so notes may vary. If your shit luck finds you only have the 5.9% in your neighborhood. The website says it has some fruity notes. <sighs> okay. I mean, I try to convince myself at least two dozen times a day that my hair's not thinning. I get a light sulfur bite personally. Is it hell or the lingering aroma of firecrackers? I'd emphasize it's the good kind of sulfur smell. Maybe toasted is a better word. Toasted alcohol. That's my final answer. The King Cobra is friendlier on the nose, which I'm sure is not a phrase that's spoken often enough. You get a subtle hint of corn water, as in you've boiled a pot of corn and the water that's left over that you pour down the sink, that stuff, or a city puddle on a warm afternoon that contains an empty bottle of malt liquor. But most importantly, how do they taste and compare? <laughs> okay, okay, no one cares, but we'll do it anyway. Right off the bat, the King Cobra. On the middle of the tongue is a warm, pleasant taste of metallic cob water. When compared to the 7.5 of the OE-800, the 6 of the King Cobra can be described as smoother. Remember, it is the premium of the two. I can't emphasize that enough. Light beerish even. The OE improves upon the light metal flakes taste of the King by adding more of those flakes, which is impressive considering it comes in a plastic bottle. If there's any leaching of the plastic, the taste covers it up quite nicely. Wait, you know it occurred to me some of this could be the Red Baron. I hope I don't have to start over. God, don't make me start over. It finishes with a bite of alcohol, foreshadowing how in about 30 minutes, whatever you're doing is probably punishable by $1,000 or one year in jail. And I'm pretty sure that does it. If you like these sorts of videos, thank my patrons. I guess uh, now they're accessories to something by posting this picture. Good thing there's no last names. Sorry guys, we're all going down together. No rats. Follow me on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up. Unless you're the guy who wanted to see Colt 45 instead of the King. You can suck it. By that I mean some of the OE. Comment. Subscribe. Buy a shitty t-shirt. Thanks for watching.